Good day everyone. It is nice to see you again. Welcome to our any learning as our learning community. Lesson 3. Triage. The triage system. Emergency and mass casualty incident preparedness. The term emergency usually refers to any extraordinary event, for instance, multi-vehicle crash, that requires a rapid and skilled response and that the community's existing resources can manage. An emergency is differentiated from a mass casualty incident, in that a mass casualty incident is a man-made or natural, for instance, hurricane, event, or disaster that overwhelms a community's ability to respond with existing resources. MCIs usually involve large numbers of victims, physical and emotional suffering, and permanent changes within a community. The triage model in disaster is used in those patients who are severely injured and are unlikely to survive despite medical attention would receive the lowest priority triage, meaning greatest good for the greatest number. While the triage model in emergency nursing, the priority is those patients who are in severe condition. Triage tags. This refers to color coding, identification to each injured patient for priority and to save time. The main purpose of mass casualty slash disaster triage model is to provide the most effective care for the greatest number of patients. Sample models for mass casualty slash disaster triage model are as follows. 1. Simple. And 2. 5 level triage system. 1. Simple triage system. We have two categories, immediate care, such as multiple traumas and inhalation injuries, and delayed care, such as extremity fractures and minor burns. 2. 5 level triage system. The following categories are as follows. 1. Immediate. 2. Delayed. 3. Minimal. 4. Expectant. And 5. No apparent injuries. 1. Immediate. Triage tag is color red. These are life-threatening injuries that probably survivable with immediate treatment. 2. Delayed. Triage tag is yellow, whereas the treatment may be postponed without loss of life. 3. Minimal. The triage tag is green. These are patients with little or no professional care required. These are ambulatory, can self-treat or seek alternative medical attention independently. 4. Expectant. Triage tag is black. Those have lethal injuries and will die despite treatment. And 5. No apparent injuries. Triage tag, white. Triage of disaster victims. Triage is the sorting of casualties to determine priority of healthcare needs and the proper site for treatment. In non-disaster situations, healthcare workers assign a high priority and allocate the most resources to those who are the most critically ill. In a disaster, however, when healthcare providers are faced with a large number of casualties, the fundamental principle guiding resource allocation is to do the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Decisions are based on the likelihood of survival and consumption of available resources. The triage officer rapidly assesses those injured at the disaster scene. Victims are immediately tagged and transported or given life-saving interventions. Staff should control all entrances to the acute care facility so that incoming patients are directed to the triage area first. Some patients already seen in the field will be reclassified in the triage area based on their current presentation. Triage categories. Triage categories separate patients according to severity of injury and use a color-coded tagging system so that the triage category is immediately obvious. It consists of four colors red, yellow, green, and black. Each color signifies a different level of priority. Triage of victims of an emergency or an MCI must be conducted in less than 15 seconds. 
Table 1 shows the triage category for 4 level triage system. Priority 1 is immediate that has a triage color of red. Immediate, this injury is a life threatening, but survivable with minimal intervention. Individuals in this group can progress rapidly to expectant if treatment is delayed. Priority 2 is delayed that has a triage color of yellow. Delayed, these injuries are significant and require medical care, but can wait hours without threat to life or limb. Individuals in this group receive treatment only after immediate casualties are treated. Priority 3 is minimal, that has a triage color of green. Minimal, these injuries are minor and treatment can be delayed hours to days. Individuals in this group should be moved away from the main triage area. Priority 4 is expectant, that has a triage color of black. Expectant, these injuries are extensive and chances of survival are unlikely even with definitive care. Persons in this group should be separated from other casualties, but not abandoned. Comfort measures should be provided when possible. Table 2 shows the typical conditions of the 4 level triage category. Steps in triage Start or simple triage and rapid treatment. This can be performed by lightly trained lay and emergency personnel in emergencies. Physiologic parameters are as follows. We can use the mnemonic RPM. R. Respiration. P. Pulse. M. Mental. For deeper discussion of simple triage and rapid treatment, click the next button after watching this video or check and click the link in the description box below. Steps in triage. At the treatment area, you should conduct the steps as follows. 1. Primary survey. And 2. Secondary survey. 1. Primary survey. Consist of A, B, C, D and E. Checking the A. Airway. B. Breathing. C. Circulation. D. Disability, neurologic assessment status, and E. Exposure or environment, coldness, or hotness. 4D. Disability, neurologic assessment status. We can use a mnemonic, AVP and due to assess neurologic status of the patient. A. Alert. V. Voice. P. Pain. Response. U. Unconscious slash unresponsive. 2. Secondary survey. It follows primary survey and is very brief. We can use the mnemonic sample. S. Signs and symptoms. A. Allergies. M. Medications. P. Pertinent past history. L. Last oral intake. And E. Events leading to problem. After doing this one, you can now conduct a head to toe assessment using the mnemonic, a crash plan. A. Airway slash breathing. C. Cardiovascular. R. Respiratory. A. Abdominal. S. Spinal. H. Head and eyes. S. Nose and throat. P. Pelvis. L. Legs. A. Arteries. Pulses. N. Nerves. And take note of this one. Head to toe assessment should be done for 90 seconds for every patient. After the primary and secondary survey, focused assessment should be done by doing diagnostic procedures such as 1. ECG 2. Laboratory studies and 3. Radiology Click the next button or click the link in the description box to watch the start triage. Thank you for listening. Have a good day and be safe. Agyamanak.